Hi, I'm Brian Pruer, tutoring high school chemistry. Today's topic is organic chemistry, and in particular, functional side groups. In this lesson, we'll be covering these last four functional side groups. We covered the first five in an earlier lesson. Remember, functional side groups are what you can attach to carbon chains other than hydrogen. Let's get started. We've got here a lovely pentane molecule, five Cs, and we're going to start attaching these functional side groups. Notice this notation I have with Rs. Remember, an R is just a placeholder for any carbon chain you can think of like our pentane right here. So let's start attaching. First up is the carboxylic acid. That will always be found at the end of your molecule. Double bond O here, single bond O, and H. Remember, keep the bonds to your carbon consistent. Four bonds for every carbon. Here we have one, two, three, four, five bonds. It's one too many. So we're going to drop one and actually wait. There we go. Now we have four. One, two, three, four. Now, we need to change the name of our molecule now. Instead of pentane, it's going to be pentanoic acid. That's the end over here. Now, notice one other thing. I didn't draw this as OH, but rather as an O and then bonded to an H. That's because that H is what we call loose. It'll easily dissociate in water to make the water acidic, hence an acid. All right, let's move on. The next thing is an ester. Esters are very similar to the carboxylic acids. They'll bond to an O, single bond to an O, but then instead of having an H, we continue with a new carbon chain. So let's say we've got three carbons here, and a completely new carbon chain. Well, in this case, we're going to have to make one of these an alkyl group. The alkyl group will be the smaller carbon chain. In this case, three is less than the five carbon chain here. So, use your regular prefix and end with YL. So three carbons is probe. Propyl. And also, we have five carbons here, but we'll end in O8. So penten, instead of pentane, we have pentanoate. So the name of this molecule is propyl pentanoate. All right, now to something slightly less difficult, the, the ether. This is one carbon chain, an O in the middle, and then another carbon chain. So we can just use our triple C again. In this case, we're going to call all of these by their alkyl group names. So, and then we're going to alphabetize them. So we've got a propyl and a pentyl. Well, PE comes before PR, so pentyl, propyl, and then we just need to end with ether. So this molecule is called pentylpropyl ether. All right, last up is the amine group. The amine group is simple. It's just an N in that, that is bonded to two H's. So let's put that actually on the end. Now we name this by adding amino to the beginning. So amino, and then our regular name, propane. Sorry, pentane. Now I put a check here in the use number column. Well, that means we need to use a number to indicate where our amine group is. Start by numbering the carbons at the ends, either 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then pick the one that gives you the lowest result. In this case, starting here will give us a 1 amino pentane. That's the way to go. All right, to recap, functional side groups are what you can attach to carbon chains other than hydrogens. These are denote any carbon chain you can think of, like a pentane. Carboxylic acids are attached to the ends of chains, and they have a loose H, which can dissociate and make things acidic. Esters are similar, except instead of an H, you have another carbon chain. The, the smaller carbon chain becomes an alkyl group, and you end your main carbon chain with OA. In an ether, that's just an O in the middle of two carbon chains. Name everything by an alkyl group, and add ether to the end of that. Amine groups can occur anywhere in your carbon chain, and bonded to two H's. Begin with amino, and then have your regular chain name, and use a number to show where your group is. Right, that's all for now. Again, I'm Brent Prier. See you next time.